game maker how to draw a rectangle for a health bar now this is uh, one shorter video we're just gonna look at how to draw the rectangle because uh, sometimes that confuses beginners or people not too hot at their math so I'm just gonna focus on the rectangle in this one and then there'll be two little videos that follow called uh, player health bar and monster health bar that will both use the idea of the rectangle for a health bar so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make an object here and I'm gonna make this object and I'm gonna call it O draw now you know what I'm gonna actually call it O draw rectangle and the only event I'm gonna give it is I'm gonna give it an event called draw just to show you how drawing the rectangles works now all draw code in game maker has to be placed inside of the draw event okay or one of the draw events so you can't put this code inside of step or a key press okay it has to be inside a draw here's the code we're gonna plug in now game makers draw a rectangle command which is perfect for this uh, will let us draw a rectangle let me draw a yellow one so I'm gonna go draw set color C yellow so I just turned the uh, color to yellow now I'm gonna draw a rectangle now draw rectangle now there's a lot of parameters that this method wants uh, this game maker method wants an X a Y of the top left corner and then it wants the X and the Y of the bottom right corner and then you say true or false whether this should be an outline or a solid rectangle so let's just go for this right now and see what happens I'm gonna say uh, draw it at a hundred comma a hundred okay that'll be the top left corner for our rectangle and then I want the rectangle let's say to be a hundred long so I'm just gonna write it out like this since my first X is at a hundred I'm gonna write the next X a hundred plus another hundred so I know you know that's two hundred now the Y well our first top left corner was it a Y of 100 I would like my bottom corner Y value to be just a little bit lower so I'll say 20 so it'll be 120 now the outline for now I'll just say false no it's not an outline which means it'll be a solid filled rectangle okay that's the only job this object has so let's test this out let's plug it in the room doesn't matter where you put it right it's always going to be drawing at a hundred hundred and let's see what this runs now it's ended up drawing right there it's not the best place just let me pick this up and uh, move it a bit let me change the Y height to 200 and I'll change that to 200 so same effect overall so this is 100 long now it's important to remember why that's 100 long and 20 tall it's all about I've gone a hundred over for my original position of a hundred and 20 down from my original Y height of 200 okay and that makes the rectangle now just to play some games with this you might do something like this draw set color C black draw rectangle now I'm basically doing the exact same code but this time I'll put true for outline and you can see all the numbers are the same this time it doesn't do a solid rectangle this time it actually just does a little outline above our yellow so you can see we get the little border around the bar there so often you'll have two rectangle draws involved in your one health bar now how does this relate to player health just to give you a little idea here what we're eventually gonna do when we go to draw our bar if I draw that hundred let's say I don't actually add a hundred let's say I just added 50 but keep my main bar a hundred long so when I add 50 only that's the yellow rectangle you'll see that that should shrink okay and we have 
half our life, right? 50 out of the full 100 distance. Now, this next part's going to be a little mathy, but unfortunately, sometimes there's a tiny bit of math in your game programming. I'm going to do an example where a player has a certain amount of life. And I'm just going to make up the variables right in here. So I'm going to pretend the player has currently hit points of 70, let's say this, 77. And let's say their max hit points could be 100. What numbers can I substitute inside of here? Well, here's what I could do. I could say hit points, and that one could be max hit points. So you'll see here the yellow rectangle, how far you go is based on their actual hit points. And the max hit points decides this. And so let's test this one out. Now, if in your actual game your hit points started to drop, the HP variable drops, the bar will actually start to drop. Now, at this point, students are usually happy, and they, they sort of grab this bar right here, and they just sort of use this code for their health bar. But here's where the math just goes up one more notch to make this way more useful. Let's say I want my bar to be much smaller. So I'm going to say I want the draw width of my bar to be 50. I don't want that bar to be 100 long. That's way too long. Let's make it even smaller. Let's say I want my bar to be only 25 long. But I want everything to draw properly. I have 77 out of 100 hit points. And when it's drawn, the most full hit points should be 25 pixels wide. How do I change the math around in here? Here it is. You just switch this to be HP divided by max HP times draw width. Now for those that get this math, this gets me a percentage. HP over max HP. For this example, 77 over 100 is 0 0.77. 0 0.77 times the draw width, so times 25, you know, will be something like 19 or 20 or 21. So it's going to be 21 pixels added on to our 100. And so that controls the yellow bar properly. This one here, you just go plus draw width. So 100 plus 25. That outer box is always drawn at the full 25. Now this works totally fine when you actually run it. Now you have a way that you can actually set the width of that bar, right? So now it's only going to be 25 wide. If you wanted your bar to be 250 wide, that's all you change. And it's very flexible. That little math there does it. And now that's 77 out of 100 for a bar that's 250 wide. So you may have to look at that code, run some numbers on your own there, and you know, convince yourself this works. But this is a very typical uh, code for a health bar okay, of any size. And again, these two values, those are set somewhere else, right? The player owns those, and those, vari blah, those variables go up and down, right? But anyways, that's your little introduction to the rectangles. Now, if you want, go watch Player Health Bar and go watch Monster Health Bar to see how this is implemented in the actual game with your game pieces. Thanks for watching our rectangle stuff.